Welcome to Eng Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider conversions from decimal fractions to its hexadecimal equivalent. To understand this, what we do is we'll consider an example. So I'll write a decimal fraction. So let it be one zero two zero point one. So this is the given decimal fraction, and I want to write its hexadecimal equivalent. So I don't know what it is. So I'll find it out and I'll write. What the number is. To do this, what I do is I'll first consider only the integer part one zero two zero, and to write its hexadecimal equivalent, I'll divide this number successively by sixteen. Why by sixteen? Because I want to write its hexadecimal equivalent. So if I divide one zero two zero by sixteen, so first I'll consider one zero two. I'll divide this by sixteen. So sixteen six zero ninety six. And the remainder is six again, six, and I'll take out this zero. It is sixty, sixty by sixteen. So sixteen threes are forty-eight, and the remainder is twelve. So I'll write the remainder here. Sixty-three is the quotient. So next I'll take up sixty-three, the quotient, and I'll divide this by sixteen again. So six, this must be three. Sixteen threes are forty-eight, and I'll subtract forty-eight from sixty-three. The remainder is fifteen. So this is the hexadecimal equivalent of uh, decimal integer, the integer part of the decimal number. So three in decimal, its hexadecimal equivalent is three again. So next the number is fifteen. Its hexadecimal equivalent is f. Next I'll take up twelve, and its hexadecimal equivalent is c. So three f c is the hexadecimal equivalent of The integer part one zero two zero only. So I haven't taken the fractional part yet. Yet. So now I'll consider the fractional part point one, and I multiply this successively by sixteen till I get the fractional part as zero. Or if I feel that the process is not going to stop, so I'll I'll stop the iterations there and I'll write this is the hexadecimal equivalent. So to understand that. So first, I'll consider point one, and I multiply this by sixteen. So if I do that, I'll get one point six. So I'll take the integer part, and I write this is the binary digit. It's equivalent digit. So next, I'll consider only the fractional part, point six. I multiply this again by sixteen. So if I do that, sixteen six is it's ninety six. So there is a point. So I'll write it as nine point six, and I'll take this. I write it over here. The integer I take it, then I'll write the fractional part only. Left out fractional part. Point six again multiplied by sixteen, which turns out to be nine point six again. And I'll write the integer part nine. And left out fractional part is point six again. Multiply this by sixteen, so which turns out to be nine point six. So if I keep on doing this. The integer is nine. It it seems like it is endless. So I stop the process here, and I write this as the hexadecimal equivalent, starting from the first one, MSB one nine nine. So one zero two zero point one in decimal, its equivalent hexadecimal is three F C. This is the integer part. Point the fractional equivalent. The fractional equivalent is. It is one nine nine and nine. So I write three F C point one nine nine is the hexadecimal equivalent of a given decimal fraction. In this case, it is one zero two zero point one. So this is how I convert a given decimal fraction to its hexadecimal equivalent. So I'll repeat the process. So if the given number is one zero two zero point one, so first I'll look for only the integer part. I'll write its hexadecimal equivalent by successively dividing sixteen. So once the task is done, I'll take up the fractional part. In this case, it is point one. So I'll take point one and I multiply this successively by sixteen till I get the fractional part as zero. One case or in or other other way round. If I if it doesn't turn out to be Uh, zero. If it is endless, so I'll stop the process. I'll stop the iteration, and I'll I'll say this is the hexadecimal equivalent. So that's all about converting a given decimal fraction into its hexadecimal equivalent. Thanks for watching.